Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about SQL views. Now, what's an SQL view? Well, a view is a virtual table which you create with an SQL query. Now, why would you want a virtual table? Well, often you have uh, a big table like the one we got with the open food facts data. And often we have certain queries uh, or certain data we wish to have in a separate table. So instead of creating a physical table and inputting that data in it, we create a view. The advantage of a view is, first of all, a view doesn't cost you anything, meaning a view does not contain any data in itself. It is just a query. So all the data is still in the original table and the view is just the view just contains the definition of that view. Another thing is, if you update the, the data in the table, the data in the view is automatically updated. Whereas if you create a physical table, it is completely distinct and separate from the original table. So that's why certain queries, certain elaborate queries that you often use, that would be, that would be typical candidates for a view. Now here I have, let's say I need a table containing all countries in North America. And obviously, I know there are many more countries than these two, but just bear with me. And uh, let's say I've got this query and I have now here a very simple query where I just select the countries from Open Food, open food Facts data. And uh, I'm just filtering by United States and Canada. And I got these results. Now, I wish to save that in a, or save that as a view. With a view, you always start off with a query, and I would advise you, first of all, to carry out or, or ex execute your query and see the results if they're to your liking. And then creating the view is a very simple case of adding one line, which is create view. Then you insert the uh, view name, basically let's call it North America Countries, and then as so, and then the query is down here. And if I carry out that uh, code, uh, I have now created a new view. It should be in here. Uh, let's uh, refresh. And there we go. And the nice thing about the view is, I mean, I can now treat that as a table. I mean, I can go like this, select all from uh, North America countries. And if I carry that out, I get these two countries, as we see here. Right, so that's how you create views. Now, what you can also do, you can update views. So, for instance, let me, let's say I, I you know, I, I just want to improve my query. I, I need to include some more countries. Let's include Mexico, for instance, in, in our query. So, what I do, I just get a new query. And let me comment this out because we're going to be needing it later. And let's get my original query in here and add. Uh, and I think here I'd like to have the countries EN. And here, uh, let me just copy that. Makes things simpler. And Mexico. Right. And let me carry out that query. So this is now a new query and I wish to update my view with that because the view, the original view I got just has Canada and United States and I wish to add Mexico to it. And how do I do that? Well, I don't create a new view. I can just update that view. And I, the way you do it is like create or replace and then view and then you, you put the name of the view North America countries as so by inputting the same name as an existing view I am not creating a new view but basically replacing the existing view had I done a spelling mistake or you know uh, input a totally different name I would be creating a new view. So, but I don't want that. I want the same view, just update that same view. And if I carry that thing out, so this is done. If I now 
remove that code and uncomment this, I should be getting now three countries instead of just the original two. And there you go. I've got like three countries and uh, I have updated my, my, uh, my view with a further country, namely Mexico. So you can see here, working with views is is makes things easier. I can give you another example where you can see where it really simplifies matters. Let's take uh, this query. And here, this is a, a query I often use, and I'm only interested in these fields, and I've got certain filters in here. And let's first carry out the query. So that's the data in here, and looks all right by me. Now I wish to create a view out of that because I often need this data and I don't, you know, I don't fancy every time needing that data and I need, you know, I don't, don't only need that data as it is, but I need to filter further down in, into this data or drill down into this data. So I don't feel like, you know, always having this query and then adding further filters down here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a view and have that as a, as, a, as, a, as a table, as a virtual table. So I go in here and create view. And then I put in the name, which is, let's call it the uh, fundamental, fundamental infos, and then as. So now I'm creating a new view and I'm running it. Okay, that's done. So now the beauty is, if you see here, let's refresh it. And we have now two views. And uh, let me go in there here and let's, let's go like this. and delete the rest and now I have a virtual table which I can query and where I have the filters I had set I have the field names I had set and it is exactly the way I want it and now I can drill further and say you know where uh, I don't know brand is equal to something and uh, let's say country is equal to France and run that. Oh, uh, and run that. And you can see now I can do further conditions in this query without having to, you know, every time copy paste the old query and insert it in here and then and then do my further drilling. So that's that's you see here the advantages of having views. It simplifies life, especially if you're dealing with complex queries that you often need. So that makes sense to put these complex or, or to turn these complex queries into a view. And then all your work will be done based on that view and no more on that original table. You see, if I create an, uh, uh, an apt views, I don't need the original table anymore. I'm just working with the views themselves. Now, the last question is, how do I drop a view? Well, dropping a view is very simple. Let's drop, for instance, that uh, fundamental infos, or let me drop North America countries. I just go drop North America countries, and that would basically delete the view. And, oh, I forgot to add the keyword view. Right, now that should go. And there you go. And if I refresh here, I just have fundamental infos. So you can see now views, you know how to create them, you, can, you know how to update them, and you know how to drop them. And I would advise you strongly to use views, especially in complex queries that uh, whose data you often need and, uh, and based upon which you work, uh, you know, you, based upon these, uh, these complex queries, you would then uh, drill further down. So views here, are a very um, you know nice way to um, add your productivity.